You ever want to use three blade barrages in two minutes? We came to the right place. With this build, you're gonna have no problem achieving that dream, and... Well, let me show you how you do it. First off, we're gonna be using Blade Barrage. Obviously, I, you know, I thought that one might be a bit obvious, but I might as well mention it. And first of things, we're gonna be pairing this with Prometheus Lens. If you don't know, this gun fires a beam that slowly generates an AoE around the, uh, end point of the beam. It also gets refunded ammo on kill from reserves, not from thin air, and its catalyst just increases its stats, it's really boring. But this exotic actually has kind of a hidden feature that uh, maybe not so many people know about. This exotic actually burns, but kind of with like a drawback. It does what I like to call a lesser burn, which basically activates nothing in the game and does absolutely nothing. The only thing, however, that it will activate and synergize is this certain perk on Blade Barrage, the Burning Edge. When enemies burn, your dodge ability recharges faster. Like I just said, Prometheus Lens will actually activate its ability, making your dodge recharge really, really fast. And that's great and all, but right now it's not gonna be doing much. So we're gonna be pairing this with double dynamo and double distribution. These mods do do different things, but one thing they have in common is when you use your class ability near a target or a group of ads, it will give you super energy. Which, um, if you haven't synergized that yet, uh, two, three second dodge, uh, dodge gives you super. I think you can see where I'm going with this one. But however good this super energy already is, it's generally a really strong super build already, uh, we can do even better. By pairing this with Shards of Galanor, we can instantly get half of our entire super back after using our super. These gauntlets state hits and kills with Blade Barrage will return super energy after the super ends. And they work so well, they might be one of the best super, you know, refunding I uh, exotics in the entire game. And I think it's mainly to do because it also can proc off hits, meaning you can attack a boss and also get half of your entire super back so easily. So with this combo already, we have half of our super back as soon as we use it, and then an insanely strong super build to instantly get out the rest of the super back stupidly easier. It's fucking easy, <laughs> not easier. But unfortunately, this marks the stop to our super energy adventure. We can't really go further than this because, well, there's nothing else that really can boost it that far. But what we can do is increase our survivability. To do that, we're going to be pairing this with Reaping Wellmaker and uh, Well of Tenacity. Reaping Wellmaker means after using our class ability, or our dodge in this case, and we get a weapon, final blow, keep it in mind, weapon, we're gonna spawn a Void Well. And then Well of Tenacity means when we pick up a Void Well, we get a 50% damage resist for a short time. This is already super good, and remember, because we have like three second dodges, uh, this is gonna be procced almost 100% of the time. It is honestly really good. And then to pair with that, we're gonna be using Melee Wellmaker and Well of Life as well as Marksman Dodge. Oh, sorry, Gambler's Dodge. Gambler's Dodge states that when we dodge near an enemy, which we're gonna be doing a lot, we get our entire melee back literally instantly. And obviously that synergizes with Melee Wellmaker, which means when we get a kill with our melee, a uh, powered melee that is, uh, we spawn a solar well, or sorry, a well of our subclass type, which in this case will be solar, meaning we can pair it with Well of Life, which means after we pick up a solar well, we're gonna get regen for a short time. The region isn't much, but it's, well, it actually is quite a bit. It just doesn't look like a lot. And then finally, with our final mod slot, we're going to be using Font of Might. This means when we pick up a solar well, it's going to give us a boost to our solar weapons for a short time, uh, which is going to help for damage because, well, this build is fun, but it does lack a bit on damage. And that's almost literally it. That's the build basically done. And my god, is it fun as fuck, especially in low-end content. In high-end content, well, it's honestly not the best. Remember, this is this is Blade Barrage, and Blade Barrage isn't, you know, the best super in the world. You're not going to be running into Grandmasters with this loadout, but you are going to be running into strikes and raids with it, for sure. Do enjoy yourself, and have fun watching the gameplay. See ya.